My name is Melvin Jackson Jr. and this is my story. I was born and raised um, in DC, then I moved, lived over in Maryland, um, Riverdale, Maryland. And, uh, yeah, my childhood was amazing. And I was a bad kid, very bad. They can't say I was ADHD. I went to counseling because I was just misbehaving all the time. You know, I was just going through some troubled times. So my mom has definitely been a, a driving force in my life. She definitely saved my life, um, introducing me to God as a child. And I just thank my mom for constantly praying over me and for me and anointing me with oil and just never giving up. She always told me, you can do anything you put your mind to. And that affirm words of affirmation just stuck with me for the rest of my life. I didn't allow that to stop me from pursuing, you know, life. I was very blessed with a great support system to get to, get to where I am now. When I was uh, 19, uh, 19, 20 years old, I started acting. I was with a modeling agency at the time, and um, they had me audition for this PSA, which is a public service announcement. And it was my first time acting, and I booked the, the role. And that's when, you know, after I booked it and I did the, the project, that's when I knew I wanted to really be an actor. I didn't never think about being an actor. I acted a fool, but um, see, I moved to LA when I was 26, and I gave myself three, uh, four weeks a month. And I said, you know, if I don't book anything in, you know, in a month or get an agent, then I'll leave. And within the third week, I not only uh, got an agent, but I actually booked a job that same, the same day that I was supposed to sign with the agency. And so that was me, okay, getting my feet wet and saying this is where I want to be at and I can really survive. So I just started building my name and it got me a lot of opportunities and people knowing who I am. Um, it was a moment in my life where I pretty much, yeah, I hit rock bottom. I was working on the on a show, um, and I ended up leaving my my job um, that I was at to kind of do this thing full time, be a producer on the show, be an actor, be a writer, and the the show didn't come didn't happen. Um, a lot of things were put on me, and I almost took a hit in my career. I feel like I was definitely in this place where I feel like I was gonna, me and my son was gonna be homeless, and that wasn't gonna that wasn't gonna be my story. Dealing with that financial you know setback, and then you know probably within a couple months or so. My father committed suicide. That was devastating because my father, me and my father talked all the time and I had just talked to him about an hour or two, be, about an hour or two before he, he did it. It put me in, in, a, in, a, in a low place and I didn't know how I was gonna get out of it. And I, I, my testament is that my friends kept me lifted and God, God got me through it. Um, and that's the only reason I'm not in a sane asylum right now. I'm not you know, out of my mind because, you know, God kept people around me that loved me, that cared for me, that kept me lifted up. But I'm my parents, without, you know, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be the man that I am. And I just... Well, definitely now it's, um, it's been a, a great experience uh, moving forward. I was playing Curtis Ball in the New Edition story. I'm going to be playing Corrupt soon in the DPG for Life movie. Um, did The Wire. Everybody hates Chris. Definitely now moving into producing a lot more. It, it was one of those things where I knew I didn't want to be just long, no longer be an actor because I, I couldn't help people like I want to. I always felt like you know I was put on this earth to be a blessing to others. So I started producing and writing and, and directing so I could be able to, um, I guess, discover new talent or or include talent and people around me into projects that I feel like they're deserving of being a part of. I, I'm more of a businessman that became an actor. So. I have an um, amazing wife, Kelly Jenneret. She's also an actress and she's doing amazing things. I think in this business, it's very hard when you have two actors in one household and you, you feel like it's a competition. Where in my household, there's no competition. My wife is a beast, so hands down. It's, a, it's amazing to, to when you're in this business and you are able to allow a relationship to last and to grow and to blossom because it's already hard enough being married, but then to be married in this industry alone, it's, it's crazy. So I'm thankful that my wife always pushes me to the, the next level to make sure that I uh, walk in excellence and to, to always be consistent on whatever it is I do. And make sure. my, my advice is never, never give up. You know, always believe in yourself. Always say, you know, um, trust in God and believe in yourself. Make sure that you understand what it is that you want and you stay consistent and you stay focused on it. But um, it's definitely 
you definitely have to work hard. It's a lot of work. Do the research. Don't wait for someone to give you a handout or help you out because everyone is not going to be as, as helping as, as other people may be. We're here for a reason. We're here for a purpose. We're all here. So I always am a people's a giving person, a people person, and making sure that I do for others because I understand that I didn't get here alone and I'm not going to stay here alone. So I definitely am always mindful of that.